before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. A strong overnight quake as it hit northeastern Japan off the coast of Fukushima. The initial quake was followed by a series of aftershocks. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Back in 2011, a similar earthquake in the same region triggered a tsunami. That caused a severe nuclear accident. The Fukushima nuclear power plant had a meltdown that leaked radiation into the aftermath. Officials are calling on people to remain on the alert for further aftershocks in the coming weeks. This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Saw that quote yesterday and 100% thought it was a parody, <laughs> but that's what he said. Now, the rest of us couldn't get on a rocket ship yesterday to escape what's going on. The fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. many times new normal Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. For the last two days, much of the Northeast and Midwest looked like this. The haze. I'm Chris Hayes. For the last two days, much of the Northeast and Midwest looked like the haze. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. For the last two days, I'm Chris Hayes. For the last two days, the haze. For the last two days, I'm Chris Hayes. For the last two days, I'm Chris Hayes. For the last two days, the haze. In fact, it's not just your imagination if it feels that way to you. said many times, new normal. If you live in that part of the country, the air quality index in parts of New York City yesterday was over 170. The sun, a thick smog over an entire region of this country that is very much not used to it. Unlike the Mountain West, which lives with forest fires, this kind of smoke settling over the eastern seaboard has felt dystopian and new. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. Which is the worst it has been in 14 years. The thing about bad air quality is there's no way to escape it. No matter how much money you have, where you live, in the end, everyone's got to breathe the same air. It was a real wake-up call yesterday for everyone in the parts of the country covered with the smoke, breathing that same air that emanated from wildfires thousands of miles away in the West. Turns out, we share the same climate with them. Right now, there are more than 80 fires burning across 13 states, many more burning across Canada. And as this incredible New York Times interactive map shows, the smoke from those fires is why the air is so hazy. For the last two days, I'm Chris Hayes. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. In these parts of the country, here on the eastern seaboard in the Midwest, the biggest fire in the country this year is the bootleg fire in Oregon. You can see it there on the map. It's about the size of Los Angeles, has burned more than 340,000 acres of forest. It is so large, it is generating its own weather, like fire clouds that manage to create their own lightning. Like fire clouds that that it is generating its own I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below blood and fire and billows of smoke even fire tornadoes the bootleg fire like so many out west is fueled by the drought <laughs> fueled by the drought and last month's record heat. You may remember that June was the hottest June on record in nearly 130 years. Records were broken across the Northwest with multiple days topping 100 degrees, completely unseen before. For well, these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. 
In Oregon and Washington, nearly 200 people lost their lives to the heat. Across the West, thousands more are now in the path of fast-moving and dangerous wildfires. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And it's not just happening in the U.S. Siberia, which, you know, if you know one thing about it, you think it's cold, famous for its freezing temperatures, is experiencing its worst fire season in memory. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. Four million acres burned, with villages already evacuating their children because of the dangerous smoky air. <laughs> Germany last week, hundreds were killed and dozens of towns destroyed by the worst flooding in a thousand years. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Tens of thousands of people are still without gas and power. In China, another once in a thousand year event, nearly a, a year's worth of rain falling in just three Men's days. hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Causing flooding that was so intense it left passengers trapped on a subway car as water poured in from all sides. So that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Hundreds of people had to be rescued. A dozen passengers died. Extreme temperatures, extreme wetness, extreme drought, extreme weather events like this, a new normal that has been brought to us by decades of inaction, led chiefly by fossil fuel interests, the politicians they donate to, an American right and American media devoted to denying science and opposing change while speeding us towards this disaster and worst. This is the context for one of the big news stories of this week, which is, and it seems sort of weird and small in uh, relation to what I just showed you, but the fight over the bias, as we've said many times, new normal. It's filibustered. Persecution and deprivation and see a flag climb to fuel inequality and produce a world in which the richest man on earth seeks to leave it with aims of polluting a new frontier. Infrastructure bill tries to get people not to take their COVID vaccine. Persecution and deprivation and see a flag climb climate change. We need to take all heavy industry, all polluting industry, and move it into space. New normal. Because Republicans filibustered it. Infrastructure bill tries to get people not to take their COVID vaccine. It's filibustered it. What is going to happen as the disasters intensify in ways that we've only begun to get our heads around, we see a flight climb, flight infrastructure bill. We see a flight climb, climate change. Day by day by day, while persecution and deprivation infrastructure bill. It's filibustered it tries to get people not to take their COVID vaccine. We're all in it together, whether Bezos thinks he can get away or not. Ours to help communities become more resilient to disasters. Climate just filibustered it. Media whips up a frenzy against an imagined threat or persecution and deprivation. Day by day by day, while well, climate change tries to get people not to take their COVID vaccine. And see the flight climb, climate change. It's filibustered it. Persecution and deprivation and see the flag climb. Media whips of a frenzy against an imagined threat or climate. New normal. Credits and some other climate friendly policy. This is the one planet we got. Day by day by day, while climate, as we've said many times, new normal. Better and see the flag climb change is that people are going to start moving to escape climate catastrophe. Persecution and deprivation tries to get people not to take their COVID vaccine. New normal. Flag is filibustered and severe weather caused by a warming planet, and up to an additional $530 billion to support electric vehicles, public transport, energy, and tax new normal. And keep Earth as this beautiful gem of a planet that it is. Now, that's going to take decades and decades to achieve, but you have to start. This is the one planet we got. We need to take all heavy industry, all polluting industry, and move it into space. Get away from harsh winters. Well, guess what? A lot of those places that people have moved to over the last few decades are the ones getting rocked by our weird new climate. And we're probably going to start seeing massive migrations again. As the climates we have acclimated to and habituated to change radically, in some cases, probably rendering places in our own country essentially unlivable. All of this, what you're seeing there, this is what's happening right now. Day by day by day, party fiddles. Media whips a blizzard of rain down in Africa. And imagine threat to get people hey. not to take their COVID back. Look no me up on YouTube. Uh, I'm, look me up. I'm Flatter Day Saint. Whoa. This lady just tried to sell me. Hey. Can I give you a flyer for Flat Earth? Here, a Flat Earth. Whoa, whoa. Uh, wait, what were we talking about? Okay, hey. Sorry. Um, um wait. wait. Um, wait. What, what were we, what, talk what what were we, were we talking, talking about, about again? I forgot.